What is going on? Welcome back. Bummer here. And uh, I got some uh, some Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, the demo. Um, I had the game pre-ordered. Uh, and uh, I will be doing gameplay on this when it comes out on February 7th. So I decided to uh, just throw some videos up of the demo so you know a little what to expect when the game comes out. Um, I played through it a few times. I'll explain all that when I get into the game. I had to because of the way it's set up, but I don't want to sit here and explain it now because then it'll take forever and we won't get to play. So um, I'm going to play the story mode. I'm going to skip the tutorial because it's an extra 20 minutes that we've all seen. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to skip all that. And then uh, I'm going to go through the cust uh, customer character, character, custom, blah, blah, blah. yeah, I got to do this here. And then, uh, and then we'll get into the game, and I'll explain how the demo is set up. Um, stealth, persuasion, sagecraft. Uh, we're gonna do this guy. So I've played through it a few times, like a uh, few as in maybe four. Um, it's highly enjoyable, but uh, I had to play through it. Like I said, I'll explain all that in a minute. Alright, so. We come out of there with the demo, or the, uh, the tutorial. Um, you don't really miss anything, because anything we would have gotten there, as you see right there on the left, anything that would we would have picked up in there, weapons, armor, all that stuff, we get anyway. So the tutorial is pretty much pointless unless you want to learn how to play the game. Like I said, I've played it a few times, so I didn't really need to do all that. And uh, it gets right into the gameplay. So, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go through and uh, we're going to equip some stuff. Start with the armor. Um, we're going to do the battered armor. Torn gloves. All this is the... This all gives me... Um, some pretty good stuff on crits, crit hits and stuff. I don't use mana, so I don't need the mana because I'm not really all into that. And I don't block so much, so I'm not really going to worry about that either. Um, and then the weapons, uh, the daggers, and secondary, I guess we'll go with uh, the bow for now. Alright, so yeah, okay, so, well, let me level up too. I'll show you the level up system real quick. Um, these are your basic points here. Um, everything's self explanatory. I'm not really going to go through all this because it's really self explanatory. Here, I'll give you two seconds on each, and if you want to read what it does, you can pause the video and read it. But you can pretty much just look at the word. If you played an RPG, you can look at the word and understand what's going on. Except maybe Sagecraft or Detect Hidden. You know, Sagecraft is the the gems you pick up. You can put them together and make to sock it into weapons and stuff. Detect Hidden lets you find, um, which is actually where I'm going to put my point. It lets you find uh, hidden doors and chests and uh, items and stuff around the world. It's, it's actually pretty pretty helpful. Um, I'm going to go sort of rogue-ish. A little bit of sorcery thrown in. I don't know how far I'm going to be able to level up. Um, just because of how the demo is set up. And, uh, okay. So, yeah, let me explain how the demo is set up while we go to... Because we're not, we're not out of the tutorial just yet. Um, there's still a part of the tutorial we have to do. But after we complete the tutorial, um, the last part is we got to go over that way, over there, and talk to some guy and fight a couple guys, and that'll end the tutorial. We needed more guards. And they said, fuck you, you little dwarf. Midget guy. Um... 
Yeah, we gotta go over this way and talk to some guy, kill some guys, and that'll end this tutorial. After the tutorial, um, they give you 45 minutes to explore the world that they've given you. Um, there are level, there are places that are blocked off you can't go to. Um, there are dungeons that you can't get into or can't. there's quests you can't proceed through because they don't want you doing the whole thing or they go into areas that are blocked off. So, I mean, there's still a good bit to do with the 45 minutes they give you. And I had to play through it a few times because of the fact they only give me 45 minutes. So I played through a few times and figured out, you know, some of the best quests to do to give you the most gameplay. Um, let's try to sneak up on this bear. Can we get him? Can we get him? Yes! Fuck you, bear! I stabbed you in the ass. And you ran away? What the hell is this? What's going on here? I don't think any bear that gets stabbed in the ass should be able to run away. That's just not cool. So, yeah, well, we gotta talk to this guy. You! I remember you! You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? As you can see, you can skip all the dialogue if you don't want to listen to it. I'm gonna go through it because it doesn't affect the timer or anything, so... I'm gonna go through it so you can see how the dialogue works. Um, it's pretty much like any other RPG. You pick what you want to say. And we'll go with this. When I saw you with Edsel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes' experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. Okay, just to clarify, I called the guy at the beginning a dwarf. Apparently they're gnomes. Just for you guys that, you know, are sticklers for that shit. They're gnomes. My bad. I fucked up. Okay, anyway, let's get on. Um, this guy's gonna pay me. I don't have... Yeah. Okay. Give it here. Yeah. It's all I've got. Plus what I got paid for the information. I don't want any part of this. I'm going home to Odessa. You're lucky. I should still stab you in the face just for being a jerk. Um, okay, yeah. There's a lot of this little shit around the world, too. They're called reagents for alchemy. Um... This sort of thing never happened in the There's a lot of them sitting around, but you very rarely, in the I guess right now in the demo, uh, very rarely will you find anything. I've I found very little, so I quit fucking with it after a while. But uh, let's go up here and kill these wolves just to get the experience. Ow. What? Yeah. Um, I will say. The uh, oh, damn, these guys are fucking me up. Whoa, in your face, wolf. Oops, I missed him. I didn't block that one. Whoa. Uh, the combat in the demo is not finished, I can tell, but it's still extremely smooth. Um, yes, thank you. Now I gotta go through the map shit. This is your map. World map, local map, blah 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 blah. Same as anywhere else. Um, yeah, combat's really smooth. It's really easy to navigate. I'm using mouse and keyboard. I'm not a real big controller guy. I do know people that have played this game today because I mean this demo just came out today. If you haven't been following the game, I have. This is uh, this is one of my most anticipated games. Um. But I'm not going that way yet because that goes into the tutorial. Um, yeah, the game, the it's. I mean, it's really smooth. The ability to switch back and forth between weapons is really smooth. Um, obviously, it's a demo. It's not finished. It's still glitchy. But uh, for what it is, it's it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm I'm quite impressed. All right, let me. Sh this this is what Detect Hidden does. If you look in the map. 
you see there's like a little brown speck up there that's a chest there's nothing here until I run back here find out where the fuck it is there it is that's detect hidden it's very helpful when it helps it helps you find little stuff and it it actually increases the amount of gold that you find lying around um, so yeah the, the I mean well let's do this this is another cutscene obviously You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Um. Okay, Hughes. This is the guy from the tutorial. The gnome that brought us back to life. Uh, it's not important for the demo. When I bring out the main game, or if you play the main game yourself, it'll all play into it. You'll understand, but I'm Did not really going to go into all that. Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I wish I could, but times are tough. God damn it. I've barely got enough to pay my bar tabs as it is. You're fucking drunk. That's okay. I was dead, too. You? You're the yes. one. I'm the dead one. Then that means it all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Now, I mean... Ah, fuck. Sometimes, the, the, the thing about the combat system is sometimes it gets locked onto one character and it's hard to switch between back and forth. So, I mean, that's one of my big gripes that I have. Ugh. Fucking tutorial. Leave for me, mortal. All right, this is your fate weaving. This is your little special that you get to do. You get to beat the shit out of all these guys, and then you get to do this. Fate shift is what it's called, I guess. You can read that, and that explains it all. not easy. God damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's phase shift. You kill everybody at once. It's pretty badass. Time slows down, you speed up, you get more powerful, and then you, you, you destroy one guy and everybody what? dies. How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? By being awesome. That's how I fucking did it. Didn't you not just see that? I just, I fucked them you up, just... guy. Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Because I'm awesome. Come here. I'm going to do a reading. Fucking listen. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. I've already died, you dickweed. Yeah, let's that would be my way. guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much. You're a fucking drunk. I'm real, you must be drunk. That's what I, I am. Heard. But still, I've never seen someone <laughs> whose fate was just missing. I am. Not even when I was drunk as the King of Balance. 